Hi, my name is Peter Wells and I'm the new executive director here at TROT. And I want to say welcome back volunteers. We're looking forward to having you back real soon. Uh, this video is to show you the kind of changes that you can expect when you start coming back to volunteer here at TROT. Let's start over in the West parking lot where you're going to begin your journey. What you can expect when you get to TROT is to make sure that you have your mask and you mask up at your car or in your car. You might want to consider getting a lanyard to hold it on you because all day long you're going to have to have your mask when you're near a building expected or in a barn or in within six feet of somebody that you're going to be working with. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take my mask off so you can hear me more clearly. Uh, as a volunteer, you're going to be expected to come through the front path and we have a sign that shows volunteers enter by the porch. Come and join me as we join Laura up on the front porch to let you know what you can expect after you get to that point. As you get to the front walkway, you'll notice we have social distancing stickers on the ground. We like to keep everybody at least six feet apart. We've placed ours a little bit further apart than that. Now Laura will tell you what to expect next. And I'm only taking my mask off for the purposes of this video so that you can hear me clearly. Please remember to wear yours when you're here. You'll follow the stickers, the six foot distancing stickers this way. As you can see, I'm at the last sticker before we get to the volunteer entrance on the east side of the building. I've got my documents in my hand, if I haven't already turned them in, to Laura. And I'm going to wait here until the employee from Trot welcomes me over to the table over there. We're trying to keep the area in the middle by the volunteer door, uh, free from visitors. I'm going to put my mask back on as I go over to get my temperature taken. Three, two, Come on over, Peter. So you can set your paperwork down in the green basket. And then we'll have you look at the COVID screening form up on the window there. Just read through those and let me know how you answer to them. I would answer no to all of those. Okay, great. The next thing we're going to do is a temperature screen. I'm going to hold this really close to your forehead. Perfect. All right, then you can head over to our hand washing, hand washing station over here. As I get to the hand washing station, I'm going to make sure that I wash my hands for at least 20 seconds with the soap that we are providing here at the sinks. There's also a sink available by the barn to wash your hands before you go into the barn each and every time. So I'm kept washing my hands in the water. Steve did a great job setting this up for us. After washing my hands for 20 seconds, I'm going to come over to the station that's going to be either a paper towel or we're going to have a bin of washcloths for you to use. Uh, right now we're going to use a paper towel for today's example. You can dry your hands thoroughly, put it in the basket, and then head down to the uh, awning for where you're going to be social distance waiting for the next step. As you can see, the staff has marked our benches out here and socially distanced them. So every time you're waiting for your coordinator to pick you up for your assignment today or any other day you're coming to volunteer, you can wait down here and be safely socially distancing. So new to the facility, Steve has made another sink for you to wash your hands upon coming to work or after completing tasks especially before you go into any building or into the barn. I'm not going to wash my hands right now because you saw me do that before. After washing my hands and I have my mask on, you got to make sure that you're masked up anytime you're going into a building, especially into the tech room. You got to make sure that you notice there's only two people allowed in here and masks are required. Hands are washed so that the doorknob is still clean. Before going out to work, you're going to pick up tools uh, to whatever job you're going to be working for at the facility. And Steve will have two bins, one noticing that it's the clean tools and one is the uh, please place the used tools over here. Steve has already sanitized these after he before he takes them out of the 
used tools so that they're clean and ready to go each day. So after you finish your volunteer assignment, we are tracking hours with Logistics, the volunteer portal that we've sent information out on. If you have a mobile phone and you are able to input your hours that way, that's fantastic. If you don't have a mobile phone or you don't have internet access, you can utilize the computer in the volunteer room. Just remember, four people max, and before you enter, you wanna wash your hands over there.